Hey Antonio, what's wrong? Why are you sad? It's your first day of school and you are starting second grade today. Mom, these two bullies who bullied me are gonna do it again. I hate them. Not to mention that my dad is abusive towards me, I don't know why, I never did anything. Don't worry about these two, they are not worth. You are a strong kid and I believe you will do very well with your grades and behavior, like the last year. About Ozzy, I don't know why he still behaves like that towards you. You never did anything bad, but seriously, this man needs to behave good already. I agree with you, he needs to improve his behavior. However, I am still worrying. I know and just remember, I am always here for you, no matter what happens. I will buy pizza for dinner today, it will make you feel better. Thank you so much mom, you are the best. I think I need to get into the school now so I won't be late. No problem and alright, I will see you later soon, goodbye and have fun. Thanks mommy. Alright, I better get into the school's building. Well well well, look what we have here. The loser number one of this entire school and that he is son of a bitch is here. Oh, great. Liam and Ezra, it's you too. What in the world do you want from me now? Well, you try to go into the class, huh? If that's the case, you are not going anywhere. We will make sure you will be late in first day of this school year. Come on guys. Please, I don't want to be late just because the both of you. Listen right now you son of a bitch. You are not going anywhere until we will get you late. You are a baking boy. Ezra, look who is coming. We will deal later with that useless piece of shit. Well, we will see you later, dumbass. Wait guys, to where are you going? Antonio. Why are you late to the class, even on the first day at the school for this year? I am so sorry, Mr. Johnson. Two boys didn't let me enter to the class and they made me late. That's an excuse. However, since it's the first day of this year, nothing gonna happen, just don't be late again. Now, let's get into the class. Alright and thank you, Mr. Johnson. Hello class, welcome back to school. I hope all of you had a great summer break. If you don't remember me, I'm Mr. Johnson. It's my second year, being your classroom teacher. I will be writing something on the board, please remain quiet all the time unless I tell something else. PSST. Antonio, you sucks. Yes, Antonio. You fucking bitch is dated here. Hey, shut up you two. We need to be quiet. Antonio. What I said? Be quiet right now and no talking. Yes, Mr. Johnson. Sorry, Mr. Johnson. Just don't start with me, even if it's the first day after summer break. Now, I will back writing on the board. PSST. Ezra, you know what to do to that fucking shit. Go ahead. Okay, Liam. There we go. Ezra, what was that good for? Stop laughing, you two. That's not funny. Okay, that's it. Antonio. How dare you yell at the class? I said be quiet and you didn't follow the rule. That's it, I have no choice. Go straight to the principal's office right now, young man. As for the both of you, Liam and Ezra, the both of you must be quiet instead of laughing. That's not funny. If you keep going, you will end up living Antonio. Sorry, Mr. Johnson, it won't happen again. Indeed. We promise we will not do it again, Mr. Johnson. Good. Now, sit back so we can continue the lesson. Antonio, what happened? Why did you come to my office while you're crying? Mr. Walker, I got sent to here by Mr. Johnson because I was not quiet and there's a reason. Two kids made me to get in trouble while I didn't do anything wrong. First, they made me late to the class. Then they were rude to me and the teacher told me to not talk while I told them to be quiet. Then Ezra threw a paper on my head. The teacher yelled at me that I was too loud then he sent me to you. Please, I swear, I never did anything wrong. Antonio, sadly, there are no proofs that these kids made you to be sent to here. You also need to know if they make you angry. Just ignore them instead not listening to the teacher. I am sorry, but I am unable to help you. There's only one way to deal with students who are loud during lessons like you, detentions. Since it's the first day of this school year, you will be only getting detention for 15 minutes. 
Head back to your class and head to the detention class at the end of the day. Antonio, we got a call from your principal that you were yelling and being too loud in the class. Why did you did it? You know it was the first day of this school year. I am sorry mom and dad, but these two bullies called Liam and Desra keep bullying me and they made me late to the class and be loud and yelling in the class and why I wasn't quiet. It's because these bullies were rude to me and I had to tell them to stop and remain quiet. Then one of them threw a paper on my head. That's why I wasn't quiet. I am sorry. What is this bullshit? All lies. I can't believe you misbehaved then you got suspended. That's it, bitch. I am going to beat you up to give you a lesson. Wait Ozzy, don't. <laughs> Shut up you piece of shit. That's what you deserve for getting detention and being in trouble in the first day of the school year. Now crawl to your room and don't come out, bitch. Finally, that garbage can went away. He got what he needs to get. Ouch. Shannon. Why did you do that? What was that good for? What the fuck is wrong with you, Ozzy? How dare you beat up our only son? You know that's child abuse. Well, it's because he is a spoiled brat, misbehaving a lot. Also, he doesn't look like me or similar to me. I want another child, not our unwanted son. Not my fucking problem you don't want him. We will not have another child until you start to act that he is your son instead of saying lies about him. I will be right back. Yeah, yeah, whatever, like I care. It's okay Antonio, I am sorry that you had to experience that. Your dad is such a jerk, he never understands you, but I do understand you. But mom, why he is so mean and abusive to me? I never did anything wrong, even it was not my fault he still blames me for every single thing I do. That's so unfair. I know, Ozzy had some problems and he doesn't know how to treat you well. I promise I'm here, I will always listen for you. Also, you are no longer grounded. But, if I become bad one day, if I become a bully, I don't want it to happen just because of all of what I experience, especially my dad that you turn against me. I promise it won't happen. I will make sure you will know how to behave even what you experience. Thank you mom, you are the best. Hello Ozzy, do you want to know why I called you? Well Shannon, what now? I am going to the shop for a while and I want you to take care about Antonio, our son. Also, make sure you apologize to him for what you did. Okay fine, whatever. That's good. I will go now, see you later and remember to behave. I know. I will put a poison on a drink as the apologies gift to Antonio so he can be sent to the hospital and I will make Shannon believe to me. Ha 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 ha. Antonio, can you get over here for a second, please? Yes, Dad? I want to apologize for what I did to you today. It was not okay and I never supposed to do that. Oh, it's okay, I guess. At least nothing bad happens. Well, I also bought you a drink to show how much I love my son, which is you. Oh wow. Thank you so much. What is that drink? No problem and you will have to figure out yourself. Okay, I will try that. Wow, that tastes really good. What did you put in there? About this one, you need to figure out yourself. I think you are right. Once again, thanks for... Wait dad, what's going on? I don't feel good. I think I am about to... Like what I thought, it worked. Now, I will be calling the hospital and my wife about what happened and lie to them. Antonio is going to be hated ha 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 ha.
Antonio, you need to wake up right now. You have to explain a lot. Wait, what am I doing here? What's going on? So, first, the nurse will say about what happened, then Shannon and I will say what we think about it. Okay, so you are drinking a poison, your dad told your mom about what happened, then they called hospital to take you and now you are here. You should not drink any poisons, because they are bad for health and you could get into worse situation, but now you're okay. Now, I will ask you, why did you drink that poison? You know that drunk can be something really bad. I have no words to you, you never got in trouble, but now you did. But mom, I never did anything wrong, I swear. My dad was putting poison on the drink he gave to me. He tried to apologize to me and he let me drink that drink he made. I never knew it was a poison. If I knew it was a prank, I would not drink it. Please don't get me in trouble. Antonio, stop lying. As your dad, I would never do that to my own son. Giving you poisons is too dangerous and no, I am being careful with my actions. Well, though Ozzy did bad things to you before, he would never give something that possibly can end your life, so I am in Ozzy's side this time. That's it Antonio. When we get home, you are in a big trouble. No problem. As for you nurse, he is all thank good. you. You may leave now. But, all right, until that's it, Antonio. When we get home, you are in a big trouble. As for you nurse, thank you for getting us and saving our son's life. No problem. He is all good. You may leave now. But, all right, Antonio. Get off from the bed. We are going home right now. Well, Antonio, I am sorry to say this, but I have no choice. Because of what you did, you are grounded for three days, including the rest of today. Now go straight to your room, think about what you did and don't blame me ever again about something dangerous I never did. Now, out from our sight. I am tired from how I get treated and that I keep being grounded for no reason, I never did anything wrong. That's it, tomorrow I will go to school, no matter what, I will punish these two jerks who keep bullying me every day. Before that, I need to change my look. Tomorrow, I will go to get a haircut and change myself. Wow. Where's that bitch? I don't know bro. What takes for that piece of shit time? He's supposed to be here right now. Indeed. If he is not showing up in the next fucking 5 seconds, we are going to find him then we are going to beat his ass until he cries to his mommy. And we don't care if it's at school or not because he is suspended. So still, we deserve our fun. Hey, two losers. I am behind you. Well, well, well. Look who is here. The stupid nerd. What the fuck happened to you also? Long story. Now, the both of you get the fuck out from my sight before I will punish the both of you. We are the ones who will punish you bitch. You're one and we're two. Shut the fuck up you piece of shit. Hey. Watch your mouth. Don't talk to us like we're your garbage dumbass. Take this as your only warning. Think twice before you say anything, bitch. Listen right now. If you don't get the fuck out from my sight, you will regret it, you shit ass red carpet hair. Fuck you, no one wants you because you are fucking sassy bitch. What the fuck is your problem? See what you have done. We told you to respect us, don't ask. Liam, let me deal with it in the correct way. Be a bit away from me. Alright then. Okay, Antonio. Time to beat your ass up so you can cry to your mommy. You did a big mistake. Now you are going to regret for what you did. Come on, show me what you got you piece of shit.
don't know what to say right now. That's not important for now. Anyways Ezra, this is what you deserve for being such a piece of shit. Never try me again or I will do something worse to you. As for you Liam, if you ever try to hurt me like you did before ever again, you are going to experience what your bitch friend experienced. Never mess up with me again. Antonio, what in the world is going on? Oh, um, um, hello Mr. Walker. It's not what it looks like. I can tell you what happened, Mr. Walker. We tried to talk with Antonio and why he changed his look, then he trash talked about my friend and beat him up. Antonio, is this true? I better get the truth right now. Um, 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 they threatened me and trash talked about me. Then I said for them back, Ezra wanted to beat me up so I beat him up instead. That's what happened, I am sorry. Sorry, what got into you Antonio? I never thought you would beat up anyone but now, how do you beat up at school? All three of you did bad things but beating up. Since I don't know who to believe, I will let the rest slide, excluding the beating up part. So Antonio, you are in a big trouble, even for coming to here while you're suspended. Now, come with me to my office. We are going to have a really serious talk about your behavior. Let's go, right now. Oi, just you wait and see. One day, the both of you will regret everything. Shut up Antonio. Your trouble will be bigger if you don't remain your mouth shut. Now dude, are you okay? Yeah, I am fine. I am just confused how he beat me up like that, but don't worry. One day, we will get our revenge on him, trust me. He will pay for what he did. You're right bro, he will pay for what he did. He is going to regret for what he did to you. We will revenge on him even if it's out of school. Antonio, what the fuck is wrong with you? Your principal called us and told everything. We can't believe you sneaked out from the house while grounded, went to the school, disrespected students and beating one of them up. We never raised you to be like that. What do you think you are, huh? A piece of shit who's bullying everyone. I never did any of that crap. It was because these two jerks who annoy me at the school. They get me in shit for no reason. Also you're siding with my abusive dad. He abused me. Shut the fuck up, spoiled brat. You always think you're right. But no, we are your parents and we decide what to do. Do a favor and stop lying. What do you want from my life? Indeed, stop blaming your dad for stupid reasons. Bad to the topic, you are grounded until your long suspension ends, now get out from our sight, spoiled brat. You know what? Just remember one day, the both of you will regret everything you did to me, just you wait. Ozzy, I am sorry for being too hard on you. Maybe I talked care too much about our son, but you were right the whole time, he's a spoiled brat. It's alright. You didn't know how much he treated me with his bad behavior. I know he is our son, but he is very spoiled. I tried my best to stop him from his stupid behavior. Now I understand how you feel. I will make coffee so we can talk about the situation, okay? Okay. Ha 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 ha. Finally, she believes to me and she is fully on my side. I ruined that stupid brat's life. Hooray. Now. We will keep going until we get that creep out from the house. We won't hesitate to break down the garden gate. There's not much time left today. Yeah.